Hello, my name is Miss Wellborn. I teach Earth and Physical Science here at Galena. This is my first year at Galena and my first year teaching, so I'm super excited to be here. Um, I'm gonna go over a little bit about myself. I graduated from the University of Nevada, Reno, and where I got a bachelor's degree in secondary education and a bachelor's degree in environmental science. I graduated from a program called Nevada Teach. It's a really great program, I loved it so much. And now I'm here teaching. So first I'm gonna talk about earth science and what we kind of do in earth science. So in the year so far, we've done maps where we go over maps, different types of maps and mapping and how that works. And then right now we're moving into minerals and rocks. So we're gonna learn about minerals and rocks and earth's composition. Then we'll do some atmosphere, We'll talk about plate tectonics, we'll talk about space, basically anything that has to do with Earth and how Earth runs and the systems that run within Earth. For physical science, we're gonna be doing, so far in the year, we have done force. So force equals mass times acceleration. We're learning about that equation and how that works. And now we're moving on to energy. So different potential energy and kinetic energy. They'll be doing labs. They just did a lab where they dropped different types of balls and trying to figure out how much energy is lost in those. Um, so for teams, this is how I do work in, um, in the classroom for both earth and physical science. What we'll do is we'll have in-class days where I do lectures um, and then we'll have activities or labs that go along with whatever content we're learning that day in lecture. And then distance learning work is really just support or practice for whatever we are doing in um, class the day before, or maybe they're gonna do some practice before they come into class. It just depends on how their schedule is. So for example, in physical science, we did a lab in class, we learned about energy and then they go home and they, for distance days, for the next day, they they practice their um, energy equations or their force equations just so they can have um, more practice with that. For a science, I usually do some kind of um, simulation or I have them maybe start on the next topic just to discover, just to, for them to look around and see what we're gonna learn for the next topic. I have them for the map unit. I had them look at maps um, online and try and figure out um, different satellite images and compare those. So when we were talking about satellites, so I just have them practice anything that they're doing um, in class. That's their distance days and then it just gets reinforced when they come into class the next day. Um, how to contact me? What you can do is just email me at savannahwellborn at washerschools.net. That's the best way is through email to contact me. If your student wants to contact me though, all they can do is write on the team's post in general and I will be able to respond to them there. I'm very excited for this year and I can't wait to teach everything to the students and have them be excited for science like I am. Thank you.